Welcome back. We are here looking at the foreign exchange market, and this is going to be my daily forecast for Friday, October 9th, 2020. If you'd like to support our channel, you're welcome to hit the subscriber button down here in this corner. Hit the like button and the uh, bell button in order to see our newest videos. So, if you look at the Great British Pound, the US dollar, and we were technically everywhere today. We This was a really choppy day. We went up, we went down, and at the moment, we basically ended where we started the day. So that is right at the edge of the 40 exponential moving average at 1293. Uh, if we look at technical indicators for this, uh, for the sterling and the US dollar pair, then the MACD is looking very bullish. The Maseo, so is the RSI. However, the stochastic is not looking uh, the, uh, bullish. It is looking really bearish. And uh, at this point, we may just stick around the in between the 50 moving average and the 100 moving average for the foreseeable future. Most likely nothing extraordinary will happen in this market until the United States election is over or that we get a sign that there will be additional stimulus or if uh, if um, something happens in the Brexit negotiation or something like that, this is uh, an incredibly difficult pair to trade at this point. There's just so many uh, variables that can affect this pair uh, that can come out of nowhere. And that's the reason why I don't really trade it at this point. I used to trade it all the time uh, when it was fairly predictable, for example, in this area here and in this area here. But... Since then, we have gone back to the British, uh, the Brexit scenarios and so on, and everything has been just become completely chaotic uh, um, at the same time. So things that also affect this market, for example, COVID uh, cases are rising in Europe. Um, the British economy is uh, having a terrible time at the moment, and, um, and the US dollar is also appreciating... Um, uh, today and it will most likely bounce from the 50 moving average but if we look at the if we were to break through the 50 moving average then we'll go technically to these highs of of uh, 1348 if we break through the 100 moving average we have the 300 moving average at the, at the underneath of 1277 and then we have the 200 average at 1265 if you look at the US dollar a yen there we can see that we try to rally again today towards this uh, resistant uh, this trend line and we got rejected um, at this point we probably will break down the reason why we say that if you look at the rsi it is overbought the stochastic is starting to turn around and this probably will get ugly a really ugly really fast um so i do expect this market to break down if we break the 50 moving average the two exponential moving average then we'll go all the way down towards this uh, trend line here at around 103 um i don't expect this market to go higher if we go higher the maximum they will go is to this 100 moving average at 106 so euro us dollar we uh, rallied and then gave back the gains and well nothing's really happening at this point we're just staying within this range here between these exponential moving averages the 50 moving average not even the 100 moving average if we were to uh, to trade in between these uh, the 50 moving average and the 100 moving average then it would be interesting but trade uh, a, a couple of uh, pips is 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 just not worth it um if you look at the technical indicators they are all over the place uh, the macd and the rsi are looking very indicating bullishness stochastic is indicating uh, bearishness and um, the bullish band is technically right in the middle so we can go up and we can go down and that's the worst case scenario we just have to wait 
and see what happens. Break above the 50 moving average will go to these highs of uh, 1188. Break towards the 100 moving average is at 1164. Uh, Aussie dollar, US dollar. There. We rallied towards the 20 exponential moving average, the 40 exponential moving average, and then we stopped. We most likely will be just trading between the 100 moving average, not 50 moving average, and the 100 moving average uh, for the foreseeable future. The technical indicators also here are mixed. MACD is technically flat. RSI looking uh, bullish. Uh, stochastic looking bearish and the my bollinger band is basically in the middle so there's nothing to uh, there's no harmony between these uh, technical indicators and that is just a worst case scenario you just stay away from this pair until uh, further n notice until it basically breaks between uh, beneath the 100 moving average or breaks above the 50 moving average so if we look at the US dollar, Canadian dollar, we have broken down as we did expect. And uh, at this point, I do believe that we'll go even further than that. This uh, probably have a pullback before we go uh, all the way down towards this channel again. But we'll most likely go there. If you look at technical indicators, MACD looking really uh, bearish, bullish, not bearish, I mean, sorry. And the same goes for the RSI. Same goes for the stochastic and the Bollinger Band is indicating that we may go a little bit lower uh, around uh, 13, 15 and so on. There's no reason to buy this pair. We can see that the 100 moving average is significantly resistant. And at this point, it's only the 50 moving average standing in the way before this basically just collapses down. So you're welcome to support our channel by hitting the subscriber button down in the corner hitting the like button and the bell button in order to see our newest videos uh, thank you good luck trading and thank you very much